Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and I had some requests to try Cable against Call, and I thought, sure, you know, Cable's amazing, guys, and, uh, you know, as always, you know, properly played, you know, manipulating your all defense down and using them strikers to, to your advantage, yeah, he can do stage 99 Call, absolutely, but I'm going to show you guys an easy method that you can do, not only with Cable, but any other character that you can use white fox with now there's other little methods too that i can show you in later videos but the reason that she is going to be so powerful in this clear that we're going to be doing is because one cable has the leadership tag which works with white fox she has the 60 percent damage dealt to super villains so cable's going to get that extra 60 percent and any character that has the Leadership tag like Sharag, Luna, Mr. Fantastic, and so on. They're also going to get this benefit. But the thing that makes her really awesome is this charm. This 5 seconds charm. So you can have her on the team and use her as a crowd control to really hold down the world boss while you deal massive damage to them. And the other thing that's amazing about this character is she has the immunity here. And this immunity is very important. So that means you can keep her alive pretty easy i mean all you really got to do is do the four five four five uh it, when you're using her in the world boss at least as far as what we're doing today to just crowd control the world boss the whole time so you're able to deal massive damage to the world boss so let's take a look at cable and his build so my cable has almost twenty-eight thousand energy attack he has 128 attack speed 48 crit rate which will be getting maxed out from his second skill because he gets a crit rate buff on his second skill. He has a 96 critical damage and he has 48.6% ignored defense, which is close enough to 50%. And he has max skill cooldown. And of course, there's that leadership tag that we were just talking about for White Fox. White Fox also has a 10% all attack uh, uniform effect also that we'll be applying to Cable. His first gears are 25, the other gears are 20. He has all amplified slots and all 5 star Urus. Remember, I do have 83% energy attack on my cards. And the thing to remember with Cable, guys, three main skills. This one here, the third skill, which gives you the recovery and the damage accumulation based on how much damage you take. It is important, but for what we're going to do, it's, it's, it's important, but it's not super important. But it definitely can make a difference in the amount of damage that you do. Then the, well, I think we passed up the second skill. And this one, of course, is like I mentioned earlier, it gives you this crit rate buff that increases by 30% for five seconds. You're going to hit the skill right before you do the fifth skill, which is your channeling skill. That's going to last for that five seconds during your damage proc. So it works out really well. You'll get this buff for pretty much the entire duration of when you use your fifth skill. And crit rate is really buff because the more crit rate you have, the more often you'll be doing crit hits, which means you're going to be doing a lot more damage. So you always want to try to squeeze that in there if you can. But again, not super important, but definitely helps as far as your damage. This is the major important skill, the fist skill, the five seconds of invincibility that gives you native super armor, which really doesn't matter because we're going to be using Nick Fury, who also offers super armor. But, you know, if you don't have Nick Fury, say you're using She-Hulk or a different character, you're still going to get native super armor and you won't get guard broken. Uh, Cable really is amazing, guys. We don't need to talk about anything else with him. He has a fully awakened Power of Angry Hawk set and he has the CTP of Energy, which I feel is amazing for this guy. And one of the reasons it's amazing because he does tons and tons and tons of hits. Whether you have any of the uniforms or just his base kit, he does a lot of hits. And this increased chain hit damage by 30% synergizes amazingly well especially having that critical damage but if you just have a damage proc critical damage with damage proc he's still going to be amazing guys he's still going to do freaking awesome and the method that i'm going to show you will work with any of these it's going to work with the new uniform the other uniform and his base kit they will all work the same so let's take a look at the uniform effect which is why this thing's freaking ridiculous so we get this extra chain hit damage by 30% from this uniform, which is 60% chain hit damage with the CTP of energy. That's bonkers. You take a look at the other uniform here, you're going to get 10%. It's still going to be amazing. And then with his base kit, he doesn't get anything, guys. But I'm telling you, no matter what, 
This method is going to work with any of these uh, uniforms or just his base kit. So guys, let's get into the action and let's rock and roll. All right guys, so check this out. We're using Nick Fury, and again guys, you can switch out Nick Fury, put uh, Seahawk or Ebony with the uniform, whatever, you could always use a different leadership. We're gonna get Nick Fury's attack buff, we're switched to the cable, we're gonna hit the co-op, and then the 325. Do not use the force skill from cable. That force skill, with the new uniform anyways, because it offers all defense down. And if you use that all defense down, before you, before Weapon Hex applies hers, you're not going to get that 100% all defense down from Weapon Hex. All you need is Weapon Hex and Captain America. I got Shirog in there for her energy attack uh, bonus from being a striker. And of course she does her force skill as a striker. And we got Thanos for his 12% damage of the And we got Anti-Venom just for heals in case we need him, but we really don't. We really don't. And look at this. This is easy as hell, guys. Watch. We'll switch to White Fox. We'll do the 4, then the 5. La -de -da, we're gonna charm old Cole. Boom! We're just gonna wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Then we're gonna charm him again, hit the four, then the five. And we'll charm him again. And all we're doing is we're just gonna keep charming Call until our co-op is off cooldown. And we just wanna wait. So now the co-op's gonna be off cooldown after we charm Call. We're gonna switch to Nick Fury. We're gonna get our attack buff, switch to cable, hit the co-op, three, two, five. And look! Easy peasy. So simple, guys. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. If you don't have White Fox, uh, or if you don't have, you know, certain characters, you could always just use Cable and then just switch your other characters, run around a little bit. And then when the co-op's off cooldown, switch back to Cable and then do your 325. Hit the co-op and hit 325. But if you got White Fox, this is easy as hell, guys. All this crowd control, it's beautiful. You crowd control the world boss. Then you use Nick Fury's attack buff. Then you switch to Cable. And if you don't have Nick Fury, maybe you're using War Wolf. You could always, you know, have uh, White Fox as the uh, leadership, maybe. And then have War Wolf, War Wolf in the side. He'll offer that 30% uh, critical damage. And he'll also have that massive attack buff that actually lasts for 15 seconds instead of Nick Fury's that only lasts for 10 seconds. There's all kinds of different ways you can do this, but yeah, I mean, it's easy, guys. This is easy. Look at the damage we're pulling off. Cable is mastering this. And for those of you that think that, you know, I mean, I have 83% energy attack on my cards. I know it's a lot, guys. And it is a lot of the reason that we can do some crazy stuff on this channel. But those of you out there, especially with this particular clear, you'll be able to do this with much lower energy attack. I guarantee it, guys. Look at the time that we're doing this in. I got a normal ranked uni. Normal. And look at how fast Cable is doing this. He is obliterating this thing. Obliterating. And you could, if you want, just keep using Cable over and over and over, but I'm not. Run around, run around. It gets a little tricky here, a little hairy, but we're going to get a hold of Cole right now. We're going to get our four, then we're going to get our five, and he's done. He's crowd controlled. We got him locked down. Get our attack buff. Switch the cable. Co op 325. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he ran out of the way. We still got some all defense down on him, though. <laughs> Freaking punk. Now we're going to crowd control him again. I mean, this is just, this is, guys, this is so simple. This is by far one of the easiest clears I've ever done on this channel. I love it. Look at this. Boom. La -de -da -de -da. You want to try not to get time frozen like I just did. Booyah. And one cool thing is because we got Nick Fury on the team, White Fox has super armor, so she doesn't get guard broken by Cole swinging his freaking axe around, which is great. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Minute 19 seconds left, guys. Cable to a stage 99. Just, oh, I got an Otis Blessing. Sweet. It's just, guys, freaking ridiculous. We probably didn't even need to use this strong a team. So, guys, let me know what you think about Cable, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.